Everything you thought you knew about Alistair is a lie. In this video, we'll reveal who Alistair's real mother is and show some interesting dialogue we can have with her in Dragon Age Inquisition. Keep watching to find out more. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs like Mass Effect and Dragon Age. I explore hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos and guides. So if you want to see more RPG content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Some of you, the ones who've gone deep into the Dragon Age lore rabbit hole, probably already know about this. But if you've only played the games, this information may come as a shock to you. Because much of what we learn about Alistair's family during the events of Dragon Age Origins turns out to be untrue. So let's start at the beginning. When you reach Redcliffe Village for the first time in DAO, Alistair pulls you aside to say this. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Some of this information is correct. Alistair is the illegitimate child of Merrick, which makes him the last living heir of the Theron dynasty after Kaelin dies at Ostagar. However, his mother was not a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, as he's been led to believe. And she didn't die either, she's actually still alive, but Alistair doesn't know any of this. Nor does the player if they've only played the Dragon Age games. The crucial missing link is actually in a novel called Dragon Age The Calling, written by David Gator and released only a few weeks before Origins in 2009. Gator was a lead writer at Bioware for many years and wrote most of the story in the first three Dragon Age games. The Calling is a prequel story about Merrick, Loghain, and the Grey Wardens, Duncan and Fiona, among other things. While Fiona and Merrick were in the Deep Roads, Merrick turned to her and said, Well bang, okay, before getting separated from her for a while. During the epilogue of the story, Fiona and Duncan link up with Merrick once again. After chatting for a few moments, Duncan and Fiona share some big news with the king. Congratulations, your majesty, Duncan said with a grin. It's a boy! He carefully handed the child to Merrick, who took it numbly. He stared at the tiny baby, shock more than anything else running through his mind. The child had a wisp of blonde hair and rosy pink cheeks, and was sleeping soundly. It was definitely his, however. After this, Fiona talks about how the children of human and elves always turn out to be human. This is one of the reasons elves stick together in alienages, to keep the elves from dying out due to diminishing numbers. This is also why Alistair lacks elven features, which might have tipped off who his real mother was. Merrick is initially concerned about having another contender for his child Kaelin, but Fiona reassures him. I didn't bring him here to provide you with another heir, Merrick. You already have an heir. Nor did I come to give you an illegitimate child by an elf. You don't need that either. I want him to have a life. A good life. The kind of life I didn't have. Fiona goes on to say she can't raise the boy herself since she's in the Grey Wardens, so her and Merrick decide to send the child away, which is how Alistair ends up in the care of Arl Eamon. Duncan promises to watch over the boy as well. But Merrick raises another issue. People are bound to wonder who his mother is. Loghain will want to know. The child will almost certainly want to know. What will we tell him? Tell him nothing. Let him think his mother human and dead. It will be easier for you and him. This is why Alistair and the player do not know the truth about Alistair's real mother. Duncan and Eamon hid the truth from Alistair as he grew up. I knew they was lying. This also means that Alistair's half-sister, who we meet during his personal quest in Origins, isn't actually related to him at all. What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Her mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle who did die in childbirth but it's likely that her actual brother died as well, and Eamon just told Alistair, hey, that was your mother. She was a servant girl. In reality, Fiona, a Grey Warden and a mage, is Alistair's real mother. We can even meet her in Dragon Age Inquisition. She's the Grand Enchanter and leader of the Mage Rebellion, and plays a pretty important role in the story. If you side with the mages in Act 1, she will join us in Skyhold and have some interesting dialogue if Alistair is still alive. 
If Alistair is king of Ferelden, Fiona will ask the Inquisitor about their opinion of the king. Before you go, Inquisitor, a question. In Redcliffe, after we left, did you perhaps speak with King Alistair? Considering who you are? He wasn't in the mood to talk. It's just that I knew his father, Marek, back when I was a warden. Oh? That's rather interesting. Does he know that? No, he doesn't. And he shouldn't. I only wanted to know if he was happy. His father had such hopes for him. Don't mind me, Inquisitor. The concerns of an old woman. Nothing more. Unsurprisingly, she's coy about her connection to Alistair and doesn't reveal all her cards to the Inquisitor. Things get even more interesting, however, if Alistair remained a Grey Warden during Origins instead. The Warden you brought to Skyhold, his name is Alistair? Yes, didn't you meet him? No, there's no point in that now. He seems a good man. That's true, he does. It's not important. I'm simply musing on the clever tricks the Maker plays. She will also have some different dialogue if Alistair was sacrificed in the Fade during Here Lies the Abyss. The Grey Warden, Alistair, they tell me he died in the Fade? I assume he's dead, or as good as. Ah, pray, Inquisitor, when all this is done, you do not regret the choices you made. You may find some things are harder to bear than others. The most interesting part about this outcome is that if Alistair dies, Fiona leaves Skyhold forever. You will no longer find her in the castle near Dorian. Unfortunately, none of the other characters seem to notice her absence. I spoke to everyone I could find, and no one had any comments about Fiona's disappearance but I suspect she was overcome with grief and regret over the loss of Alistair, the son she never had a chance to know. So yeah, this was a pretty wild one for me to learn about. I've played hundreds of hours of Origins and Inquisition in particular, and I didn't know Fiona was Alistair's mother until very recently. It sheds a lot of new light on the characters Alistair knew growing up, particularly Duncan, who turns out to be a big fat liar. I know Duncan wasn't in a position to share what he knew about Alistair's real mother, but it kind of begs the question, did Duncan really care about Alistair, or did he just see an opportunity to recruit him into the Wardens? Alistair feels a deep sense of loneliness because he never had a real family. It's why returning him his supposed mother's pendant in Origins is such a profoundly personal moment for him. It was the only symbol of any kind of family. I also wonder if this pendant belonged to the woman who Alistair thought was his mother, or if it was actually Fiona's. Alistair's deep sense of loneliness is also why he desperately wants to track down Goldana, and why he still wants to establish a relationship with her, even though she's completely nasty to him during their first encounter. The player can discourage him from doing this, which will lead to Alistair's personality becoming hardened. It's also interesting because despite Merrick and Fiona's wishes, Alistair still ends up becoming a candidate for the throne anyway. They were unable to shield him from this political life despite their best efforts. We'll see if this plotline gets expanded on in Dragon Age 4, but I suspect Alistair will never know the truth about his mother. Fiona seemed determined to not start a relationship with him now, even if both of them survive the events of Inquisition. Almost everyone else who knows the truth is already dead. Duncan, Merrick, possibly Loghain, etc. And I see no reason why Eamon would suddenly reveal the truth to Alistair after all these years. So yeah, kind of a sad story for Alistair. So there you have it. Alistair's mother is still alive, and you can meet her in Dragon Age Inquisition. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and Dragon Age videos. Shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.